All right, so we have this font right here. Um, let's just animate it and shade it a little bit. So we have our type. Let's move it here and raise it up. Now let's make another word, another word. So let's go to, um, Let's go here. And let's change this font. Oh, and also we can get fonts by going to go here and we go to We can go to the font and we can get fonts from here. This is where I get a lot of my fonts. And now some of them will look good. Some of them will load and some of them will look bad, right? Some will load, some won't load. It all depends. But you can go here and get like one of these, let's say like this, and you go to download and then you get it. And then you go right here and then you can go to mix you can fiesta bold and go to install and then fiesta um really well you know i'll just do it just do it and now we can go over here it might not update i might need to uh to restart my computer but it might be here i'm not restart my computer i might need to restart the program i thought i just saw it Let me just go down a little bit slower. So I was like certain I just saw something. Either way, I like that chiller, so I might keep it. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this. All right, so we have this right here. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can enable a little bevel. Yeah, see, look, like this looks nice. And also, additionally, what you can do is for these letters, there's ways to make your own, but if you really want to, we can go over here to like, let's say vertex, and I'll grab this right here. Let me press four to see through. Maybe I might do this, press five. And then I can take it, maybe manipulate it a little bit. So it's a little bit more custom, you know? Remember, always press four and five and look through these things. Yeah. So this is also something you can do as well. And if you really find yourself liking letters, like I said, I can show you what I really do and that's take them into Cinema 4D and manipulate them like that. That's some stuff I'm not gonna share with the general public okay you know what i'm saying so basically we can take these and manipulate them a little bit more and these are simple enough that it's not going to be like overwhelming and once you manipulate it past a certain point i think 
it's not copyright. I don't think it should be copyright anyway, if we're making it 3D. But I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. Get sued later or something. Well, you said this. Okay. Um, almost done here. I just want to manipulate this a little bit more because I'm liking it. Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. So we have this. Um, let's just do one more word. So let's take this and let's do our buy. Okay, so do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Remember, we have to. These are options right here. All right, so let's give ourselves a little backdrop type of deal. So I tell you all, wait, not this one. We're gonna use this one. So you never use this unless you're doing this. So these are nerves. So we'll just take this right here, spread this out, and we'll press W, and then we'll go to Control Vertex, and we'll go to this right here, and we'll pull this up. Well, actually, what we should do is. patches part let's just do 10 and let's just go back here so all i'm doing is is i went over here i went to patches i'm going to go to something called control vertex i'm going to go to this row back here press w and raise this up all right and then what i'll do is i press e I'll rotate this like this. So I have this set up. Uh, let me press um, Q to quit, or object mode, I should say. And now I'll just scale this. And also scale this. Scale this as well. So we'll just frame it like this and then I'll get myself a camera. So I'll go to, um, go to view, create camera from view. So I'll name this render cam, Jada cam. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this. So I'm gonna click on this first camera, then I'm gonna click on the lock. So now it means I can't move this, I can't mess it up. And I'll just go get in my perspective and there goes my camera. Remember, it's the Jada camera, all right? So now we have this. Now let's go ahead and just give it uh oh yeah, I was gonna animate it in, all right? So we're just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on 10 frames. All right, so take this right here. We don't need to see this, but just to show you it's there. So this is what the letter is, right? Type one mesh, let's just say uh, beats. B. 
Eats Nash. I don't know. All right. And then uh, this one, switch type in Jada. Jada meshes that one. And then the middle one is uh, by, we could put like letter, I'm just putting mesh just because. So it's on 10 right now. Now if I press the letter S, all right, this just locked the position of where it is. So this is saying, hey, at, on in 10 increments or 10 frames in time, this is right here. Now, if I go like this and I go to this first frame, let's make this come out like this, right? And then I'll press S again, right? So I set a keyframe there. Now there's the end keyframe. Now let's look inside of our camera. First keyframe, that's our keyframe, beats, right? Now let's just say, let me get out of my camera. I want it to come in from like the bottom, but from like the right side of the camera. So like down here. So I'll move it here and I'll press S because look, it's saying, hey, these aren't recorded. The other keyframes are recorded because I just moved it down to the left. So that's like Y is up and down. And then this is left to right. So I'll just press S again. So now it's in this area. Now let's see what it looks like through the camera. So I'll go into my Jada cam and I'll look and I'll say, oh, okay. So now it's coming from the right side like I want it to, right? Cool. So we have that. Now let's uh, do this one right here. So by, so I want this to come in at frame 20. All right, so I have this right here. So I'll press S for its keyframe. Because look, this is the buy mesh right here. And also there's a lot of construction history. That's why it has a poly remesh and all this other stuff. So to get rid of that, we just click on this, which is delete by type history. So that's the construction history, how it was made. So we click on that. We have this right here and I'll do the same thing. If I click on this, then I get rid of that history. Same thing with Jada, all that manipulations of the vertexes and all that stuff I was doing is recorded here. So click on that, get rid of it. Anyway, so the buy is here, it's at 20. And then, so let's put it on 10, just to keep things consistent. And now take this and I'll just move it over here. Now press S. So now, so beats, buy. Okay, let's see what we're looking at. Ooh. Now we have the last part, your name, Jada. So do the same thing with this. Let's put it in on 30. So I can click S right here. And uh, so 20, let's make it do something. I don't know how we want to do this. We could uh, go in and we could take it behind the camera. We could even do something where you scale it up. Put it like right here, maybe press S. So then when we're looking through here, well, it'll look like this. So let's look through here. So now we're like seeing some of the letter before it comes in. So we could do something like that. Beats by Jada. And then, so once it goes in, we could also do something where it's there and can like rotate it a little bit. Press S. We take this and rotate it like this. So it's like, and here's another thing. Since this is the one we came in with, what we can do is we can copy keyframes. So I can take this and go copy, and then I can go over here and then do a paste. 
So now we came in, this is our frame. It raises up and then it goes back. So we can do something like that. And then we could close it off at frame, I don't know, 50. So I could just go over here and if you scale this down or just type in 50 and we have it there. And if I press play, what it's looking like but now also if i click on this little running man right here and i click on this and oh no it's on real time but it wasn't all right so yeah we have this and that's how we like start to animate our uh text 